Hey there, beautiful pink sister. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sorry that we're meeting under these circumstances, but it doesn't negate the fact that I am so happy that you landed on this little corner of the internet and you're watching this video today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about understanding the phases of breast cancer with a little help from Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. I'm your host, Karen Del Maestro. I'm your health coach and bounce back expert. And I'm gonna be taking you through what I recently uncovered as I watched the Wizard of Oz for, I don't know, maybe the 50th time, but I saw it with fresh eyes. So I'm gonna take you on a journey through the colorful world of the Wizard of Oz and how it intertwines with our own journey through breast cancer. So grab your popcorn, get cozy, and let's dive in. Now, as I said, I've watched The Wizard of Oz countless times, as you have likely as well. But it wasn't until I rewatched it recently, as I was recuperating from yet another surgery, that I saw another depth to its message another meaning. It's almost like uncovering hidden treasures that are in plain sight. I'm curious what you find next time you watch it. Because this movie isn't just about Dorothy's adventure to find her way back home. It's a mirror reflecting our own quest for inner strength and self-discovery. Now, prior to cancer, we, we hear that Dorothy is yearning for something more right? Something beyond the rainbow. I won't go into song here. I could, but I won't. That would hurt your ears. <laughs> but this yearning could be an echo for our own desires in life. Something we feel like we're missing in our life, right? We think our life was good before cancer, but I almost guarantee you after working in health and wellness for 20 plus years, I'm working with women on a daily basis, that most of us feel like there's something missing. But what Dorothy discovers and what we too come to realize is that the answers we seek aren't out there, but they're actually within us all along. Now, remember when Dorothy says, if I ever go looking for my own heart's desire again, I won't look any further than my own backyard. That backyard is a metaphor for our true self. Our true self, our authentic self, the person we carry around every day and often don't even realize. And we spend so much time searching externally for validation, for happiness, often looking to make everybody else happy. You might even say something like, I'll be good when everybody else is happy. I'll be happy when they're happy. And we so easily forget that our greatest treasure lies within us. Now, as Dorothy embarks on her journey through Oz, we can draw parallels to our own experiences with breast cancer. This was what kind of blew my mind. From the chaos of diagnosis, right? Represented by the tornado whisking Dorothy away from Kansas taking her away from everything she'd ever known in one moment. Just like when we hear those spine chilling words that change our lives forever going forward. To the twists and turns of treatment along the yellow brick road, it's path filled with challenges and growth if we allow it, right? What have you learned as you're going through treatment? Probably more than you think. And the feeling of doing what we have to, to survive. Even when people are saying you're so strong and inside we're thinking, what choice do I have, right? But just like Dorothy, we're not alone on this journey. We encounter companions like this scarecrow, the tin man and the cowardly lion, each searching, searching sorry, for something they believe they lack. Sound familiar? We all have moments of self-doubt, disconnection from our hearts, and fear, right? Those are things that live within all of us. 
but it's through embracing these vulnerabilities that we can actually find our true strength. Now, along comes the Wicked Witch. Hated that. I used to hide behind the sofa when she would come on as a kid. Like she really scared me. And she symbolizes our fears. The ones that haunt us even after treatment ends. Like the fear of getting sick again. The fear of not being able to stick to healthy habits that you know you need to not get sick again. And maybe you've never been able to stick to them in the past. And so you're scared that you won't be able to do what it takes. Maybe the fear of missing out on a bright future or losing a job or a relationship ending. But just like Dorothy, we have the power to confront and conquer those fears, shining a light on our darkest fears until they melt away. And then there's Glinda, the good witch, right? She's all shiny and bright. And she represents our higher selves, always guiding us if we're willing to listen. She reminds Dorothy, pointing down to her ruby slippers, one of my favorite points in the movie. My dear, you had the power all along, just like you do, just like I do. Because ultimately, The power to shape our lives lies within us, not in some external force or something we have to do or something we have to learn. It's already in us. And as Dorothy clicks her heels together, repeating, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. It touches my heart because as I've spoken to hundreds and hundreds of women going through breast cancer, and I know men do too, but Typically, it's women that are reaching out to me. All we want after treatment has ended is to feel safe and at home again in our mind, in our body. And so often, we're trying to go back to our pre-cancer life, just like Dorothy thought she'd go back to her pre-tornado life. But that's not what happens. Right. And so if we are stuck in this place, wishing, wishing and hoping that we could just go back, we're going to go back and forth between the wicked witch and wanting to click our heels together and the wicked witch and that fear just getting bigger and bigger and bigger because we're not doing anything to change and wanting to wish that we could just click our heels together. And I know you're exhausted and I know you're frustrated because it's not happening quick enough. But that's because you're focusing on the wrong thing. And it's the credits roll to The Wizard of Oz in this incredible movie. We're left with such valuable life lessons. Because we hold the power to create the life we desire. To embrace change. To face our fears head on. Fears don't like us taking action. They're very happy when we sit feeling stuck and disempowered. They actually melt away, just like the Wicked Witch, when we take action. And I'm not saying it's easy, but it's so worthwhile. And all you need is guidance from someone that has walked that path and can shortcut that journey for you. Home isn't a place, but a state of being. It's a place where we reconnect with our hearts and embrace self-love, self-respect, self-compassion as we become the woman we were born to be. So my friend, let's journey together to rediscover the beauty and strength that resides within you because I want you to know that you're not alone. And I'm here to guide you every step of the way, just like Glinda, simply reminding you of what's possible. Together, we'll navigate this path, thriving beyond treatment, with courage, compassion, and whenever you're in my circle, a whole lot of heart. Bye for now.